Welcome to In 5 Minutes. The agenda of this clip is to understand the static CMOS implementation for an SR latch or I could say for a NAND based SR latch. On the left side of your screen, you can see that I have implemented an SR latch using NAND gates. The diagram of the same we have studied in our previous semesters or in our lower classes and the truth table is written below. It says that when both my inputs are zero, we know that for a NAND gate, if any one of the input is zero, my output is going to be equal to one and it does not wait for the second input. Here, when S is zero and R is zero, my Q and my Q bar both are going to be one, which is technically not correct because the output Q and Q bar are complementary to each other. So this is not an allowed condition and it's also called as a race condition. Rest, it's very straightforward. When my R is one, my output is reset to zero. When my S is one, my output is set to one. And when my S and R both are one, my output holds the previous value. So this is nothing but a NAND based SR latch. We want to implement this latch in a static CMOS style. We have already seen how to implement a NAND gate. Let's quickly revise that. For a NAND gate, we have written the expression y equal to ab the whole bar, height the bar, whatever is below the bar is nothing but my pull down. So this is a, this is b and the complementary to pull down is my pull up. So here it's parallel, down is nmos, so up is pmos and this is nothing but my output v out and this is nothing but my ground. So this is nothing but my two input NAND gate. Now let's understand how to make the NAND implementation for the SR latch in static CMOS style. So let's call this as NAND1, let's call this as NAND2 and let's quickly make the NANDs. This is my NAND1, we have already seen how to implement this. Let's not name the inputs right now. This is my NAND1. Let's make NAND2 also quickly. This is my NAND2. This is going to be my output and this is going to be my output. Now for NAND1, my inputs are nothing but S and Q. Let's mention that S, Q, S, Q and my output is nothing but Q bar. For my NAND2, my inputs are R and Q bar. And my output is nothing but Q. Remember this output Q will go to the inputs of NAND1 wherever there is Q mentioned and this output Q bar will go as inputs to NAND2 wherever there is Q bar mentioned. And this is nothing but an SR latch NAND based and its implementation in static CMOS style. Very very straightforward. Hope you have followed. Stay tuned for further clips. Thank you very much.